Hi, my name is Anthony Marinelli, and I'm the writer-director of Another Famous Dead Artist. I'm very happy to be back at the Strawberry Festival. Uh, we were here a year ago with my one-act play, Acoustic Space, which actually won Best Play of the Winter Season. And since then, we shot a film version that just recently screened at the Cannes Film Festival. Petey, listen. I'm listening. I've got it. I don't get it. Citizen watches. We know what makes you tick. I still don't get it. A naked chick wearing only a watch. Oh, now I get it. The difference between the two plays is it's, they're actually very different. Acoustic Space is more of a fast-paced comedy that is about how technology has changed the way we communicate. All right, listen, I got to go. I'm on a date with Arlene. Yeah, we're having a great time. Another Famous Dead Artist is more about, it's more of a dramatic story about the nature of beauty and how it affects people. You talk about appearances? What do you want me to say? That I should love you for the beauty within? The story concerns a famous artist named George Murnau, played by Rick Schneider, who threatens to kill himself when his longtime protege slash muse named Christina, who's played by Amanda Greer, reveals that she's leaving him for another woman who happens to be an art dealer named uh, Sabine, who's played by Lucy Dolly Karras. Hi, my name is Lucy Dolly Karras. I was born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii, and I play Sabine in Another Famous Dead Artist. Sabine is an art dealer, and she, I like to describe her as an m, &M. She has this like hard, tough exterior, but she's like really soft and loving on the inside. She really cares about Christina, and wants what's best for her. I'm Amanda Greer. I'm an actress in TV, film, and theater. I portray Christina in Another Famous Dead Artist. Christina is definitely an artist in her own right. I think she's struggling just like we all do. Are we good enough? She's definitely afraid of the future. As a woman, she's afraid of aging. When I read about Christina, I thought it was Anthony's best work. I immediately related to her. I've worked with both Rick and Amanda before, many times, actually. Um, you know, Rick and Amanda have uh, been working with me on a feature film called Eventually Yours. And I met Amanda, we did, we did a, uh, a play called Walt Whitman Never Paid For It, and it was, it was just a wonderful experience. And uh, we actually shot that as a film as well, and we were in a number of film festivals with that, and she's just a wonderful actress. You virgin? No, you're not Wait, virgin. A, a virgin, yeah, yeah, okay, a virgin. Oh. Oh, that's what you're saying, virgin, right? I'm a virgin, oh. right, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Yes, you're virgin. Oh. Big, strong man is virgin. No, oh. big, strong man is not virgin. It's great working with people that you know and you have a relationship with and they have a relationship because um, for me, chemistry is very important. And when the actors know each other socially and they get along, the chemistry is just that much better. You can't fake that, it's just there. So another famous dead artist is really about Sabine's struggle in her love life. It's really all about Sabine. Is that right? Yeah. Another key element in this mix has been Raymond Smith. Raymond Smith was introduced to me by Amanda Greer. I'm his muse, I'm sorry, I am. And I gotta say that without him, this play really wouldn't have come to life the way it has. My name is Raymond Smith. I, I'm a self-taught artist. I created the work that you'll see on stage in Another Famous Dead Artist. The character of George has a lot of uh, resonance with me with the... Uh, there's, a, there's a point in, in the, uh, the play where he doesn't feel appreciated. And I've, I've totally been there. I'm, I'm there like all the time pretty much. And that's, that's a pretty common thing for an artist because we're based, if, we're, if we're good at what we do, we're sensitive instruments of feeling. I remember when he came and he, uh, he brought the painting to our rehearsal. And I just, I think I let out a squeal, a little embarrassing, but I was that excited. I'm thrilled to be uh, part of the Strawberry Festival and have my work featured in it. Uh, there's a strawberry right here, actually, I could eat that. Thank you once again for inviting us to the Strawberry Festival. We're very excited to be a part of it. We're gonna rock your world.